Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! assholeconsulting.com, last video of the day. It's Monday, they kind of build up over the weekend, and Cappy gets in, it's before noon! Oh, look at that! Kevin's got another four hours to write shit. I don't want to write. Ah, I just want to go back to sleep. <laughs> now I remember the 80s, just watch cartoons every Saturday morning. Oh, I'd kill for that again. Be excited when the cartoons came out on Saturday morning. Then you go out and play. Apparently, yeah, get the hell out of here. All right, we'll leave. Come back, but that's it. I can't wait to get rid of you. Then come on back, brother. Well, do we want us to stay or go? Should we, should we sell ourselves to the carnival or what? <clears throat> hey, Mr. Clary, I'm gonna anonymize this a little bit. A friend of mine recently started dating a girl who's a complete shit show. She's pretty average looking and not terribly interesting, but the real issue is her career and education. Uh, that's gonna be most of the girls nowadays. Uh, I'm, I'm very pro women having a career, but a career in a real field. And unfortunately, the vast majority, well, not vast majority, but a, a disproportionate percentage, not 50%, but higher than that, of women's, quote, careers are not careers. They produce nothing of value. They are basically government make work programs uh, where there's indoctrination and politics and socialism and all that other stuff. And, um, and not only is it a waste of taxpayers' money, they ruin their lives in the process because the, I don't know how you can, you know, a social worker, I, I mean, you gotta, you got to be really sad at some level realizing that all the sociology and all the social work in the world has done jack all. You haven't solved any problems. It's a spectacular failure. Economics, same thing. I mean, you got to be really depressed as an economist as government debts rack up, GDP slowing down, labor force participation is going to pot. I mean, you just got to be like, well, you didn't solve it. But most people don't have an intention of solving these problems. Most people knowingly, consciously are just making money. That's their career. And they're avoiding calculus and programming and other real things. She has a degree in political science and is attending a ranked, not published, tier four law school. She has about 250,000 in student loans. So she's not even done with, with, with the law school. She's already got a quarter million in student loans. Is she gonna go major in social justice and make change and make all right with the world? Will she bring, will she, will she, will she bring equilibrium to the force? Is she the chosen one? How much you wanna bet she's gonna want the taxpayers to bail her out? All right. However, when I was talking to her about her future career plans, she seemed to ooze with confidence and said, direct quote, once I make partner at a law firm, I'll be making around $3 million a year. Okay. So this right here goes beyond simple brainwashing and, and misinformation that every young person, male or female, gets about their career prospects and socialism and communism and social justice warrior and politics and yay. Um, this, this sounds like an egomaniac. She and she obviously is living a lie. I think deep down so inside she knows she's living a lie, but this is all that she has to go on. Um, but this is delusional that if she thinks she's gonna make partners, she's gonna make three million a year. I know a couple lawyers that partner that are partners in sizable, serious, you know, white shoe law firms, they don't make three million a year. Six hundred thousand, not three million. Nobody that is capable of paying her three million a year is going to hire someone from a rank not published tier four law school. They're just not. And her background degree in political science, no one's going to touch her. All some nonprofits and touchy feely, and she'll be predisposed, predispositioned to like, I've been violated, I'm discriminated because I'm female, because that's what she's been taught to think. Um, <clears throat> so she'll go work nonprofit campaign, uh, maybe do volunteer work, um, but she's not going, and no one's going to pay her. No one's going to hire her. And certainly she's not going to make partner at a prestigious law firm, let alone one that pays $3 million. She's delusional. She's, she's not, this is not a healthy, mentally healthy individual. I wouldn't say she's psychotic, but she's definitely delusional. I like to know how you think someone could be so completely delusional. <laughs> How common people 
this insane R and what's really going to happen to her once she finishes law school and what will her future look like? <clears throat> All right, let's take these one time. How do you think someone can be so completely delusional? All right, well, first off, most young people are delusional. I was delusional. I think even you, I think everybody was delusional in the Western world because for the most part, our parents' generation, not necessarily our parents, but our parents' generation sucked. They lied to us, consciously or not, and uh, especially the millennial generation, the parents just didn't want anything bad to happen to them. And instead of telling them the hard truth, most parents have taken the easy way out. They've never spanked their children. Everything is accomplished in constant praise, constant positive reinforcement, never any punishment, never any negative reinforcement, and they've never told you how the real world worked. So you go from this artificial environment of childhood, I mean from zero to 18, which is only reinforced in K through uh, 12 school, this delusional la la land. Now you extend that by another four years, in this girl's case five years, because you said it took her five years to get an undergrad school. <clears throat> um, college is just that on steroids, except you're paying a pretty penny for it. And uh, here's where you get the real head, especially in a, a liberal arts program where you're getting leftist indoctrination. And then they're telling you why you're entitled to this delusional dream that has no anchoring or bearing or foundation in the real world. And you gotta, I, I looked up the efficacy of brainwashing. And it was very interesting how they looked at prisoners of war where you know, the Chinese would capture an American or we'd capture this and the CIA would try and turn people on and um, the, the efficacy is actually very low. Um, <clears throat> but when it comes to indoctrination and propaganda and you give worthless people, and that's what this person is, a worthless person, some kind of cause or crusade, in this particular case, it's been socialism of its variant formats. It could be feminism, it could be environmentalism, veganism, or uh, merely a fight the system, Donald Trump is a racist, bring him down. You give these otherwise worthless people a cause, then they'll go for it. I don't know if that's necessarily brainwashing, but it is programming. So I think people are very delusional. I think everybody's delusional to a certain extent. But the only people who aren't delusional are people going to the military, people going to the trades, and people going to engineering or programming or computer sciences or something like that because they know. They had a dad or a mom that said, look, you're not majoring in this stuff and paying a quarter million dollars for your worthless you know, strip mall law school. Uh, so those people have an anchoring in the real world because they have good parents that anchor. <clears throat> Everybody else, which I'd say is about 8% of the population, is lied to to some level. Now, to the level that she is, where she thinks she's going to make $3 million at a law firm, uh, that is where she's taken it and taken it to. That's her own delusion. I think she has delusions de grandeur. I'm no psychologist, but I think that's what she has. It could, it, it not could, it was certainly helped and propagated by the political science program. I guarantee you if she went to a program in that school, uh, that state, they were lining up to parade her and champion her because she's a woman and you go girl and da, da 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 So if you're in that cacophony, if you're in that echo chamber from kindergarten to now law school, you're talking, what, 20, almost a quarter, what, 5 plus 8, 23? She's going to be in school for 26 years. That is going to have an effect on you. And so she, she may be having these truly delusional expectations. And that may be higher than the average person graduating with a liberal arts degree or going to a crappy law school. But... That environment, the K through college environment that she's in, has definitely been very fertile breeding grounds for her to get this delusional expectation. If she did a stint in the military, I guarantee you she would not be thinking. Uh, you know, if she was forced to pay her actual tuition and actually support herself, you know, pay. For, I mean, I mean, rent with a roommate uh, and bus fare. We're talking a very minimalistic. She would not have these these delusions. Um, so, I think it's very common to be completely delusional, but to her level, not that common. How common people this insane are? <clears throat> this insane, I would say one in four, and I'm going based off of that percent of people on prescription drugs. I think it's one in four.
not prescription drugs. Okay, one in six Americans takes a psychiatric drug. Um, and if you go down, I think it's women, one in four women are on it. Because, <laughs> because being treated equally just is a little too tough. <laughs> um... Older adults with higher rate. Oh, one quarter of adults, 60 to 85, are going to take one of these drugs compared to less than 10% ages 18 to 39 found. And twice as many women. Okay, here it is. Nearly twice as many women as men report taking psychiatric drugs, 21% versus 12. Okay. Um, so how common is people are, are, are insane? Not to her level, but I, I, I would say, you know, what is insane? Are you depressed and you're on Zoloft? Okay, are you, you know, what's the line for insanity? There's a difference between a, a schizophrenic seeing things and killing people versus someone who's like just an emo kid and doesn't get enough exercise and doesn't get enough sun is on antidepressants. Um, <clears throat> with the millennial generation, oh, here's another thing. It, how much of it is that they are brainwashed and that it, with indoctrination and socialism and all that, that it almost does become a mental illness? I mean, you look at it, how mentally deficient do you have to be to believe in a safe space? That you freak out if someone doesn't call you zir or zir. How mental do you have to be to cut off your genitalia and reform it into something else? And again, very libertarian. You do what you want. I'm for whatever gender you want to believe in that you are, made up or not. Um, but, you know, gay, bi, I'm sorry, gay, bi, straight, um, and I'll give you a little bit for asexual or non-binary, but the other 48 flavors that they came up with last week, no, mental, delusional. And especially if you're cutting yourself and having things rearranged, that's, that's, that's an issue. Um, again, they don't call, account for that high percentage of the population, but I would say at that age group, whether you're taking drugs or not, um, how common people this insane are? Truly insane? Maybe five. I mean, genuinely insane. Mentally impaired, I don't mean that in a mental retardation sense, but impaired because you're delusional, I'd say a third. At least a third to where they cannot function normally. And if they can't support themselves, if we're going to go by, let's use that as a standard, another type of way to measure it. <coughs> the percentage of people under 40 who can't support themselves, if we use that, that's at least half, half the population because they're still living at home. They haven't gotten to the, the logical conclusion point like, well, if we all live at home, then who's going to work and support ourselves? And that's a negative net parasitic production and then the economy will go to the toilet. Uh, I'd say about half. You could even say half the people easily. You're, you're not going to be able, you're not dealing with a functional, self-supporting, uh, independent adult. You're not. You're just not. And, you know, this isn't the slam on the younger kids because younger you're supposed to be dependent, but, uh, heck, that's even that's even Gen X. I mean, there's still you know, crazy people out there. And what's really going to happen to her once she finishes law school? Oh, well, <clears throat> that's predictable. She's not going to find a job. She'll never get interviews. She's going to blame it on the patriarchy or big law. Um, she's so delusional, I don't think she's going to admit that she majored in worthless subject and went to a, a worthless law school. She's going to demand that other people bail her out of her degrees. She's going to blame anybody but herself because <clears throat> in her mind, she's, she's brilliant. She's worth $3 million a year. Um, and she's, she's then going to go down the path. She's going to come. There's going to be a fork in the road for her. I can tell you which way she's going to. This happens to everybody who makes a mistake, uh, but typically feminist women and, and women with their career. They're going to say, oops, I goofed up. And now I got to make changes to go, you know, salvage the remaining two thirds of my life because I just pissed away the first third. All my youth is gone. Or I'm going to double down. And if we use feminist women's studies, people coming from academia, people who go to law school, they're going to double down. And she's going to condemn herself to a life of poverty, misery, hatred, and blaming other people and abdicating responsibility and failing to take any responsibility for life. So she is going to be forever, I mean forever crippled with the student loan unless she gets bailed out. She will still be forever crippled because she has no real skills or degree. She is going to immediately, because she's been conditioned by political science and degree in K through college indoctrination, 
to go work in some, she's gonna, need, she's gonna need to find agency. She's gonna have to find some kind of purpose and value and reason and living. And it's already scripted. She's gonna go right into social justice warrior, fighting some kind of ism, racism, sexism, me too. Uh, the poverty, the children, the dogs, the frogs, the bears, your hair, the, uh, <clears throat> the sky, the pie. She'll find some nonprofit Peace Corps, whatever. She'll probably maybe go and teach, because she has a law degree, so she'll go and teach at an equally worthless fly-by-night law school if she can find it. If you really want to see how what kind of life she's going to have, read the article in The Guardian about how professors and adjunct professors are resorting to prostitution and living in cars. And she is so far gone and is so afraid of working a real job in the real world um, that that's 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 going to be her life until she's dead. No, if she's average, you sent me a, a link to her Facebook. If she's average looking, she's not going to find a guy who's going to bail her out, and she is going to have to be wedded to the government. She will definitely have to be wedded to the government. Um, and what her future will look like? It's going to be horrible. It's going. It, this will be a wasted life. This will be tragically and sadly a wasted life. And I know you all think I hate women and I'm a sexist. Blah, 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 blah. I am trying to help this girl and other women not make this mistake. Um, but at, I am so embattled and tired and exhausted trying to warn people about a cliff that they still run off and give me the finger and call me a racist or a sexist as they're falling off the cl cliff, not realizing they're falling to their death. I, I kind of like, yeah, it's posterity now. It's more academic for me. Yes, it took her five years to get her political science degree from a state school, and she's middle of the pack at her awful law school. I eagerly await your response. So here's her Facebook. Let's look at her, what she looks like here. This page isn't available. Do I have to, I have to log in? Uh, what the hell is my password? Is that my password? It is my password. Um... Which one is she? Oh, that's not her. Oh, that is her. Um, she's overweight. Yeah, she's not. <clears throat> she has hot friends. She's she's got two hot friends. She's she's the fat girl. She's the fat girl that goes. She's the the hen. They call them the hen. The mother hen. When girls go out, they party. And Tina might be talking to Bob. There's Bob. Bob is a good-looking guy. Bob might be the greatest thing to happen to Tina. Oh, no, nope, here comes this woman. Yank! Yeah, um... I don't want to read anything so as not to give her away. Uh, nose piercing, of course. Not attractive, overweight. Um, what's sad is she puts on a lot of makeup See, I mean, this is this epitomizes it right here. It's like black gals with their their fingernails. Not all black, but the, the large fat ones. And then they think if they get really super done, nice nails and a weave, that that makes them hot. It's like no, that's not making you hot. What would make you hot is losing about thirty pounds, maybe forty. Uh, and that's the same thing here. I mean, she she's done up her makeup. She's all put together. You look at the... So there's this woman that wants to come out. There's an actual woman that wants to be feminine. Uh, but she's not going to go to the gym. Hell no. Because doing a little bit of this and a little bit of blush or rouge and then the, um, the stuff they put on their eyes, that's way easier than actually like running a couple miles and hitting the weight and dieting. It, it's again... A, a delusional? Oh, yeah, she got Colin Kaepernick. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh. Blah, 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 blah. She's, uh. I just kind of want to see what stuff we're putting up here. Pointless, touchy-feely, feel... Oh, good lord, jeez. All right, all right, okay. Yep. 
Too bad. Um, no, I... Yeah. Uh, here's... Let me explain. Again, you all think I'm a jerk and I'm an asshole, and I am. But this world is in such desperate need of assholes because this is a wasted life. I really want you to think about what that means. This is somebody who was born, this is somebody who has sentience, this is someone who is conscious, this is someone who feels pain and joy just like everybody else does. This person is you at a fundamental human sense, a human level. And this person may not feel physical pain, but is definitely going to feel mental pain for the rest of her life. And when it is all said and done, her life will truly be a waste. This person may have the raw intelligence and capacity to do something great, you know, or just do something good. This woman could be a mother, this woman could be a wife, this woman could be an accountant, this woman maybe even possibly has the potential to be an engineer or a doctor. But she has been lied to, and let's not say it's her own fault, you know, kids don't grow up in a vacuum. Uh, this is a victim of the leftist big education that you think big oil is a scam Ooh. she is a victim of leftist indoctrination all the way from her parents or maybe the absentee father or the father that was there but had no spine <clears throat> to the teachers socialists that's what you guys are media lied to her um, and pushed her down this road that if she if if she ever wakes up She's going to have to spend the next 25 years recovering from the first 25 years. That's if she wakes up. And as I said before, when that fork in the road is presented to her, I almost guarantee she's going to double down and, and waste all of her life. And so there's going to be this mental delusion this where the real world is not matching up with her, I won't even want to say expectations, but her demands and entitlement. And she is going to be pissed off about how what she's been praying. So such stupid things like, oh, those guys have peni and they're benefiting unfairly and they're, oh, those guys have a different colored skin or those women have different, and they're better and at my expense. They're going, she's, she is going to be in such a mental, mentally painful and constantly mentally painful state for the rest of her life. It'll be wasted. She will have nothing to show for her life. You know, and I'm no great at, you know, I ain't no surgeon over here. Oh, Cappy, well, okay, maybe I did save a life or two working skin, but that's a different thing. <clears throat> um, I at least got books. We've at least prevented thousands of you from majoring in worthless crap like this. We've actually spared people lives like this, and that's what I'm trying to do here. And that's what I'm trying to point out is you guys may not like the truth. You may not like me being an asshole and destroying your dreams. You, none of you have dreams. You all have nightmares that that are starting off really nice. It's like meeting that girl at the bar. She's got nice titties. Real cute. Like, hey. And they're like, you're taking her home. And it's a guy. Ah! That's, that's what your dreams are going to become for most of you who, who swallow this hole. So, I, again, the common response is I get the double finger as they're falling off the cliff to their death. But if, if you're a, you know, if you know somebody who's about to go down this path, it starts, starts at what they decide to major in, guys and gals. you got to intervene. If you've got friends, get into the book Worthless or just tell them, hey, you can't do it. And, and, and I know I've had friends like, hey, I tried to, but they didn't want to hear any of them. I'm like, okay, well, that's the way those get. And then, then the best thing for you to do is let go. <clears throat> but um, is this your friend who's dating? Here. She's not savable. I don't think she's, you could save her, but you could save your, your friend. Go save your friend. Hey, show him this video. Because here's the thing. He's going to be on the hook for that debt. You think she's going to work the money to pay off that? No, no, no. She's gonna, and then worse, he, he, it will happen. It not will happen. It could happen where, yeah, I'm on birth control. Oops. And now he's lost his life. You know, that's why you don't go try and save someone who's drowning and frantic. You wait for them to tire themselves out and they're about to drown, and then you get them. And then once they act up again, you swim away. Because it's better that one person dies than two. All right, I'm very depressed now. That's very sad. Um, if you guys got questions, Cappy's got answers, assholeconsulting.com. I, America's older brother.
Tune into the Older Brother podcast. We do that tomorrow, every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Central, I think. Uh, we got my books. All the links are down below. Go click on that comment, or not the comment, the description. You'll see them all linked down there. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, get, get the book Worthless, you know. I, out of all the books I've written, that is the one that will do the most good in the sense that it's a vaccination against a life like this. That's if you can get these people to read it. All right, that's it. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.